Hi, this is Benny. Please do visit my blog called Instant Bonsai for Everyone. Blogspot. Com. This is the story of cutting number six, which was shown in part one of this video. They were kept in a glass of water, and the water was changed every three to four days. I sprayed water on the leaves and kept it covered with the top half of a plastic bottle to keep the humidity high. On day 17, I got my first root. The white spongy dots on the stem are not root buds, as I wrongly mentioned in part one video. They are called lenticels and help in gas exchange. They are a precursor to the rooting process, and new roots emerge among them. On day 25. Just eight days later, multiple roots have appeared, and the stem has become more stiff now. As the stem base was tilted, the new roots hit the glass wall and grew sideways like a mustache. Now, when I look back, I should have pruned the longer roots to encourage side branching and kept the stem vertical in the center of the glass, so the roots spread out readily and uniformly. The roots are now super dense and shallow. I don't get roots like this in sand. They have turned brown due to light exposure. If they are kept covered, then they they remain white. I want to grow the ficus on top of a quartz rock like this, with its roots dipping down into the water. This is the back view of the rock, and this is the front view of the rock. I love this. These two cavities will provide a nice place for the roots to grow into. So I place the roots into the cavity, sprinkle some soil over it, and covered it with moss. Then I wrap some strips of cotton cloth around the whole thing. And submerge it into water. The water level was just touching the level of the moss. I later moved it to a shallow tray. For nutrition, I am adding a few drops of solution prepared by dissolving NPK powder and granules in water. Of course, the micronutrients are missing in it. When the water level is high, the roots have no motivation to come out of the moss area. So I reduce the water level to encourage the roots to flow down the rock, searching for it. And they did exactly that, as you can see here. This rock is sitting on some pebbles and sand to encourage roots to go below the rock. This is the back view, and no roots are visible since the cavity is on the other side. To conclude, rooting in water is fun as I get more control over the roots, and the development is visible to me every single day. I need to buy hydroponic macro and micro nutrients soon so I can try growing some ficus permanently in water.